The PeopleSoft HCM Company Directory feature delivers new enhancements for the org chart viewer. The Company Directory org chart page still displays the three-tiered hierarchical chart, but now the third row wraps the direct reports list when more than four employees are listed. To view all the direct reports, use the vertical scroll bar. If there are any dotted line reports, they will appear at the bottom of the list. In previous versions, when the View Peers functionality was enabled, all peers of the person in the focus node would appear in the second tier. Now, with View Peers enabled, you have the choice to display the peers of the person in the focus node. Swipe the View Peers switch to Yes, and the page displays the peers in the second row. If the number of peers exceeds the length of the viewable row, a horizontal scroll bar appears so you can view all employees. When you scroll to the point where the focus person is no longer viewable on screen, the third row of direct reports will fade from the page. Scroll back to display the focus node on the screen and the direct report nodes will reappear. The application also enables desktop users to export and print the organization chart. When a user possesses the appropriate org chart export role, the actions list from the banner will display the options to export to Excel, export to Visio, or print the organization chart. The export to Excel or Visio options will export the org chart information as a CSV file. These will show the entire hierarchy, starting from the focus node, his or her peers, and then all direct and indirect employees that roll up to the person in the focus node. When you select the Print Organization Chart option, a new page will open that will enable you to see a print preview of the chart. This rendition of the org chart shows the manager, focus person, and the direct reports of the person in the focus node. Click the Print button to print the chart. This completes our demonstration of the Company Directory org chart actions feature. For time reporters using a mobile phone, Image 27 provides a new time entry page along with visual enhancements to existing pages. When an elapsed time reporter logs in to report time, the weekly time entry page allows time entry for a week in one transaction. The weekly time entry page allows time to be populated from their schedule, from the previous week, or manually. You can review the reported time for the week on the Review Weekly Time page. This will include all reported time, not just the time last entered. You can drill down into a day to view and edit time entered or add new time. For a punch time reporter, the system time is recorded with every punch on the updated report time page. The current time is displayed instead of a time field. One of the visual enhancements that has been added to the fluid pages has been the status bar. This graphically represents the relationship between reported time and a person's schedule. The buttons at the bottom represent the next logical punch types and has been added to replace the punch type dropdown. In this case, the last punch entered was out, so the next logical punch is in, which is highlighted in green and is the first button in the bar. Notice that once the in punch is processed, the next logical punch type becomes a meal. Meal is now the first button and highlighted in green. The next logical punch is determined by the punch pattern associated with the time reporter. All possible punch types are available under the Actions menu if you need to create a punch outside of the punch pattern. The Weekly Time Summary page displays a summary of the reported time for the week. Select a day to view the reported time. This completes our demonstration of the Time and Labor Fluid Time Entry for Mobile Phone feature. With the Image 27 Fluid Enter Time page, employees can report time using an intuitive and easy-to-use interface. For hourly time reporters, those time reporters who need to enter the punch type as well as the punch time, the first page that will come up is the punch time sheet. This is intended for time reporters who are allowed to enter the time of their punch. The legend shows the icons and patterns used in the page to represent the status of time. Select the time period by using the arrows to scroll. 
or by bringing up the calendar view. The day summary contains information such as the date and day, the status bar, which represents the relationship of reported time to scheduled time, and the reported and scheduled hours for the day. The punch types show the punch pattern specified for that time reporter. These fields are configurable by your organization. Comments may be added to each day before your time is saved or submitted. The Show All Punch columns will show all possible punch types defined for the organization and not just those assigned to the time reporter. This completes our demonstration of the Time and Labor Fluid Time Entry for Tablet and Desktop feature. As part of Image 27, PeopleSoft HCM Fluid Time and Labor Reported Time Approvals allows supervisors and managers to approve reported time along with all other approvals. Using the Approvals tile from the Manager Self-Service page, managers can access the Reported Time Pending Approvals page and view approval line details for each request. The Report Time Approval feature is optimized for both desktops and smartphones. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Time and Labor Reported Time Approvals feature. ePerformance introduces the Due Date Notifications feature in Image 27 to create and send email notifications to managers, employees, and peer reviewers, reminding them about the due dates of their evaluation documents. This notification functionality delivers three levels of reminders for all five steps supported in an evaluation cycle. For each reminder level to be used, administrators have the option to specify the number of days before due date that reminders are sent. They can also select the different reminder levels to enable for each of the supported steps in an evaluation cycle. This feature leverages the HR notification framework to create and send email reminders. Because the setup touches both people tools and HCM components, a navigation collection is built to list all the major setup pages conveniently in one location. Each email notification provides information about the document type, the document step that is due, the due date, and a link that transfers the user to the document in PIA, as shown on the screen. This completes our discussion of the ePerformance Due Date Notifications feature. The PeopleSoft Data Privacy Framework enables you to identify and maintain personally identifiable and sensitive information. HCM Update Image 27 delivers a predefined set of categories and classifications based on the sensitive data assessments across HCM. The Maintain Category page contains a two-panel layout. Use the left pane to search the predefined set of categories and classifications. You can add your own custom fields when applicable. The Maintain Category page lists classifications mapped to a category. You can add a new classification and mark it as Personal Identifier or Sensitive. Use the Maintain Data Privacy Settings page to view the delivered record fields and their data privacy attributes. You can modify delivered information, but Delete is disabled for these rows. Add new record field information and map data privacy attributes. You can delete rows that are not system data. Select Update Data Privacy Attribute to update data privacy attributes for a field across all records. Selecting Update References updates the reference for newly defined records. Refresh References deletes and regenerates references for all record fields except system data. For references that can be generated, you can select the reference type. By default, all reference types are selected. The View References page, Component Page tab, shows the references on record field in components and pages. View the component page details by selecting this icon. 
you can select the navigation link to open a new window for the particular component. Use the Query tab to view references for record fields in Queries, Connected Queries, and Composite Queries. By selecting a connected query, you can view which child query is referencing the sensitive data. This completes our demonstration of the Data Privacy Enhancements Sensitive Data Setup feature. In Image 27, PeopleSoft HCM provides updates to the ERN delete process. With these changes, we now allow authorized users to selectively remove historical employment records from the application when they are no longer required to be retained. Administrators with the ID Delete User role can now skip the validation of fields and controls within the ERN Delete Control and ignore specific exception records marked as Exclude on the ERN Delete Exception Tables page as well as any of the records in the system that begin with audit and UPG and that end in AET, noting that the percent symbol acts as a wildcard. This completes our discussion of the Data Privacy Enhancements Employment Record Delete feature. The PeopleSoft HCM Fluid Attachments Framework supports the inclusion of attachments for the address change transactions in Image 27. When you use the Personal Details Addresses page to enter an address change, you can now upload files from your device, such as documents and images, to support your request. When approvals are required, the approving HR administrator uses the Pending Approvals Address Change Fluid page to review a request. The page displays the details for the request, and, if there are attachments, the page displays the Attachments Details section. Selecting the section opens the Attachments page. Select the file link to download and view an attachment prior to approving the request. This completes our discussion of the Fluid HCM Attachments Uptake for Address Transactions feature. The PeopleSoft Profile Management Business Process gives Fluid users the ability to include attachments when updating profile data. When attachments are enabled for the role, managers and employees use the Talent Profile pages to upload and manage documents or images for a content item. When approvals are required, the approving manager uses the Pending Approvals Person Profile Fluid page and selects a Profile Item Changes row to open the Details page. If attachments have been enabled for the manager and attachments are included in the request, the Attachments section will appear at the bottom of the page. Administrators also have attachment capability using Classic Pages. When attachments are enabled for an administrator, the Content section will display the Attachments column. Select the icon to open the Attachments page where you can add or delete attachments. This completes our discussion of the Attachment Capability Added to Profile Management feature. In Image 27, the Absence Cancellation page enables an employee to include attachments with their absence cancellation requests using the Attachments Framework. This completes our discussion of the Self-Service Absence Cancellation Attachments feature. Fluid Self-Service for Payroll now provides consent authorization and access to year-end forms T4 and T4A for Canada using a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Using the T4 and T4A consent page in Payroll Self-Service, employees can request or withdraw consent to receive electronic T4 and T4A slips. Once consent is given to receive electronic year-end forms, employees can view and download these slips using the View T4 and T4A Slips page. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Year-End Forms T4 and T4A for Canada feature.
Fluid Self-Service for Payroll now provides consent authorization and access to year-end forms RL1 and RL2 for Quebec using a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Using the RL1 and RL2 consent page in Payroll Self-Service, employees can request or withdraw consent to receive electronic RL1 and RL2 slips. Once consent is given to receive electronic year-end forms, employees can view and download these slips using the View RL1 and RL2 slips page. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Year-End Forms RL1 and RL2 for Quebec feature. The Fluid Self-Service Reporting feature enables employees to directly view and download reports and is now available for Australia, India, and the United Kingdom. The Fluid User Interface enables employees to view and download their legislative year-end reports and payroll reports using a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Employees are notified by alerts when new reports are available. They can also see the date when the report was made available and when it was last viewed. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Self-Service Reporting Country Uptake feature. PeopleSoft Self-Service Absence Event Handler by Country enables you to define the application package in class and call any country-specific logic when approving and canceling absences. For example, for Global Payroll Spain, at the approval of unpaid absences, the event handler will generate the appropriate segmentation triggers to deal with the impact on the payroll according to the Spanish requirements. This completes our discussion of the Self-Service Absence Event Handler by Country feature. Payroll for Switzerland enhancements now meet the most recent SwissDEC 4.0 certification requirements. The new features include an additional query to monitor source tax events and a new transmission mode for the ad hoc hire and termination reporting. The certification is valid until January 25, 2021, with an additional one year for next recertification activities. This completes our discussion of the SwissDEC 4.0 recertification enhancements. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.